<laughs> Anyhow, folks, I'm going to get the show rolling. Are you ready for your first <laughs> First off, Dave, thanks. That was absolutely awesome. You know, this whole process that we've gone through to get here today has been absolutely awesome. Dave has been a great teacher for us. I came into the program and I came in thinking that I was really quite funny. After the first couple of classes, I went up to Dave and I said, you know, I really don't know how much I like this. I keep coming to class, and you keep telling me how I'm not funny at all. <laughs> and then, you know, it got to be our time where we got to be up in front of the mic, and, and so I did my thing, and Dave looks up and goes, you know, you are really, really likable. And I said, you know, that is awesome. I knew I loved this class for a reason. He just kind of shook his head and said, man, you really are bipolar. <laughs> and so I was out for a walk with a friend not too long ago and she asked me, she said, Jeff, are you a little nervous about, you know, the show that your jokes won't be funny? I said, no, you know what, we workshop them all the time. And I thought to myself, trusting a room full of people who may not have taken their meds, <laughs> tell me I'm funny, may not be the best way to go. <laughs> I mean, when I'm off my meds, I think Stephen Harper announcing the new budget is freaking hilarious. <laughs> wow, thanks. And she also said to me, are there people in the class that you would hang out with outside of the class? And I said, yeah, there's definitely people I'd go for a beer with. Realized I was talking about the recovering alcoholics. <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, you know what, for uh, times like this, they tell us that we should have like cheat sheets and, and notes or something just in case we forget what our jokes are. So what I did is I actually wrote them on my arm. So if you guys can just be patient with me for a second, just. <sighs> I did that when I was depressed, so. <laughs> Hang on, no, I think I got. <laughs> that is hypomanic. <laughs> going to say, and, and some of my friends, okay, all my friends, tell me I get a little too wrapped up about my sports teams, but what I've found over the years is that if you have the right timing, it totally is the best way to hide if you're bipolar or not. I mean, in 2011, I was going through a hypomanic phase. The Bruins win the cup. I am, I am just over the moon, and people, you know, they don't question why I don't stop smiling, why I don't stop buying people drinks, or why I got a ticket to Boston, made my own float, and joined the victory parade. <laughs> Fast forward to 2013, and the Bruins lose in the Stanley Cup final to the Chicago Blackhawks, and I was already going through depression, the kind of same thing happens. Nobody questions why I don't leave my house, why I can stop crying, <laughs> or why I took copious amounts of drugs to make myself feel better. You know, I would say most of you are Canucks fans who know that cycle, but you guys have never won the cup. So I knew that one wouldn't go over well. But my friends do have a point, and uh, my roommates, they just had a child, and they're really quite concerned that his first words are going to be bleeping Bruins. <laughs> Thing is, I'm more concerned about their child than uh, than they are that because they named him Maverick. You know, after the character Tom Cruise played in Top Gun. I'm uh, I'm not worried he's going to be a fighter pilot. I am worried he's going to be a Scientologist. <laughs> you know, to uh, to combat the energy that I have with uh, with my epomania and kind of going. Uh, Going with those sports things is that I've taken up yoga. And the one thing that has been a little frustrating is that, you know, my smack talk does not go over so well. <laughs> get down and it's like, psst, psst. Trevor Linden was totally overrated. Yoga is 
done a lot of great stuff for me and, and I wanted to share that with other people. So what I did is I decided that I was gonna start teaching yoga. And you know, I think my, my students really love my classes because of the variety. I don't know, do you guys know that Sarah McLaughlin song that you know plays with the SPCA commercials? The one that, you know, you're you, no matter how happy you are, you're reaching for the antidepressants. So one week, you know, I'll, I'll come in, I'll be playing that song, and I'll, I'll just say, you know, just maybe stay in child's pose or take a few deep breaths, just find, find a pose you're really comfortable in and join me for the next hour and try not to cry. <laughs> the next week, though, I'll come in and I'll be playing Pitbull. And I'll be like, okay, guys, here we go. And it'll be pose after pose after pose. The one thing I don't think they like is when I'm rapid cycling. And in a class, it's like, when Sarah McLaughlin's song, when Pitbull song, when Sarah McLaughlin song, when Pitbull song. But yoga's got a, little, a, a lot of really great stuff with it. And one of, the, one of the best things is the final pose you do. It's called Shavasana. The way you do basically is you lie on your back, and you close your eyes, and you chill out for about five minutes. It's done a lot for my confidence because me, being narcoleptic, no one is better at shavasana than I am. <laughs> so I've, I've taken that confidence and I've taken it into other areas of my life, such as, as my dating life. And I've been trying the whole online dating thing and you know, a lot of the, a lot of the women have the same thing on their profiles and it, it is getting a little discouraging. I mean, everybody's looking for someone who's emotionally stable. <laughs> and none of them say, contact me if you're on long-term disability. <laughs> you know, six things I can live without. It's like family, friends, coffee, great music, the sun, my iPhone. I'm trying to figure out why my profile doesn't get the traction I think it should. I mean, six things I can't live without. Propanolol, Daphnil, Motrogen, Seroquel, my psychiatrist, my support group. You know, with, with meds, a lot of people, you know, they experience a, a lot of side effects and things like gaining weight or, or just not feeling like themselves. And with me, I take my meds at 7.30 and pretty much they knock me out at 9. So biggest side effect I'm feeling is put a damper on my one night stands. <laughs> no, it's like, be out and should be talking about or feelings or a cat or something. And it's like, no, 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 hang on a sec. You know, if we're gonna do this thing, you really need to get back to your place by eight. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, peace out.